you know, hey man, say man, you know, we just come ahead yeah, of to show the people on. how to how to get out this trap, man. You know, I'm tired of seeing people that's, that's out here exhausted because they 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 tired of from running after paper. You know what I'm saying? So, and me and me and my man, me and my brother Zoe, we we sit back and, and we have these type of conversations all the time, and our and our lonesome in our spare time, and it's like at one point we just we just sat back and was like, you know what, we need to start coming online and, and, and telling the world, sharing, sharing our wisdom with the world, letting them see, you know, and letting them get the uh the privilege of of being able to experience this wisdom, these riches that we we pass around all the time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah, because they need to hear this shit. Like this shit we not we navigating through it with you know what I'm saying? Like we helping each other navigate through it, but if we helping each other then it's 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 a it's a it's thousands or more, like you know what I'm saying, that they can that can be navigated and helped with the navigation the same way. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And I think um one thing that I want to touch on today, you know what I'm saying, as far as you know, helping these people helping these people get out the struggle, man, helping them get out the trap. Um, like we did, I, I would say is to help them learn how to control their circumstances instead of being controlled by their circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, a, lot, a lot of times we find ourselves in, in, in real uh, adverse situations, at real um, negative situations, you know, and and a lot of times we let those situations that we, we, wind, we wind up in make us doubt ourselves and whatever it is that we after or whatever it is that we set out on to do in our lives yeah and they let them dictate the outcomes for sure and um i think well i know we've been through enough of them enough of that adversity in our lifetime in our lifetime and our journeys me and you personally uh enough to be like you know this is how you navigate through that Right. This is how, you know, this is how we was able to go through what we went through, embrace it, take it, take the hit, and and and, and dish out a few more punches. Like I said before, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. this this is how we was able to, to fight and, and, and maneuver and get up out them jams, man. You know, because a lot of people think just the way we carry ourselves, a lot of people would think that we ain't went through nothing or we don't go through nothing or, right. you know, everything is all everything good on our end. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you know, it ain't that we don't go through nothing. It's just that when we do go through something, we respond to it a certain way based on the wisdom that we, we have accumulated in our life. You know what I'm saying? So right. once again, that's what we here. That's what we here to do. <clears throat> I want to, I want to touch on what we were saying the other day about like how, so not to look at your circumstances, not to look at your, you know, what well, I don't know what words you had uh, used. Shit, uh, help me out because I I probably can't remember myself, but pretty much not not to focus too much on your on your current reality. You know what that, I'm that one. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And, and you shared like you briefly shared like a little story about how you was in a situation a while back where. You know, you, 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 you know, I don't want to tell the whole story, but like you was in a situation where like all you had was, you know what I'm saying? Really just you. you yeah. Hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, pretty much is like when you, when you, when you, when you at these lows in life, you feel me? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna speak for those who've been at them lows, cause I, I, everybody probably ain't had a moment like that. But when you at these lows in life, where you, you know, you you going through it, you, you feel like you know, what I'm saying you ain't you ain't got it, you ain't got it in your pocket, you know, what I'm saying you ain't got it in your pocket, you ain't got it uh, in your physical, you know, what I'm saying your physical, you feel like you ain't got this, 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 that, you know, what I'm saying that make that make most of us feel how we supposed to feel as as as, as a man or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. When you when you going through stuff like that, like pretty much what you what you left with is pretty much your faith. You left with your faith. You left with you left with your beliefs. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I was hoping to ask you what you mean by faith. What you mean? Because yeah, a lot of yeah. people don't understand that. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand that, right? That's why I had to spin it right quick. Mm -hmm. So let me let me let me let me navigate my thoughts while I go into a rabbit hole. 
Um, for sure. Take your time. Yeah. So I'm trying to I'm trying to really grab. So look, I'll put it like this. Mm-hmm. If you, I know this in life. Like I say that shit all the time, though. In life, like in life, like I say that's my shit. I always <laughs> come up in life. But I know this in life. Like when you take when you take some when you take when you take everything else away from a person, they cherish way more to what they do have left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I use like a quick ass example. Like if we're gonna use the fisherman example. Yeah, I if, love that. If 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 a fisherman if he if he if he if he got everything he need in his you know what I'm saying his kit when he when he get out there and get to going, if he got multiple rods to do his thing, multiple different hooks to you know what I'm saying, to 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 whatever, whatever, and you know, all this bait or whatever, you know, whatever little gadgets he he used to get it, get his fish. Once all that's gone, like if you if you were to take out the if the storm if the storm was to take all that away, he know he got left, he got his boat left. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if the storm was to take all his equipment away, he know and he left with his boat. He know he still got his boat. So exactly. now he going oh like he gonna over grass to this to his boat because he know like I still got this boat. Like yeah. everything else gone, but this boat can get me to the other side of the sea at least, you know what I'm saying? Where it might be more opportunity at. Yeah. So spinning back around I'm saying it to say like let like your like your faith, your your belief could could really could really if you if you stand on that shit and really and you and you really control what you want like what you what you put in your head, it could really be your it could really be your turning point for a lot of shit. Yeah. So I use the example for myself like I was I was down at a, at, a, at, a, at a real low, you know what I'm saying? But I put myself at that low, though. I, I was down at a real low where, I, like, I had, like, chopped, like, everything that, that was that was coming to me, like, any any type of, any type of, any type of income source, uh, 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 all my hustles, you know what I'm saying? All my side hustles, all my income, you know what I'm saying? Everything that pretty much was, was, was keeping me, you know what I'm saying, on the up or giving me a way to go touch some more, I had cut it all off. And a lot of people gonna be like, nigga, you, you, why would you do that? Yeah. It's crazy, yeah. But for the stars, I seen some way different. I did that because I really wanted to really get in tune and connect with myself, like, and, and my capabilities to like create pretty much, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's what's hard. really going on in life? Like, I really want to get all that out the way so I could pretty much like clear the vision. That's hard. So, what you saying, bro? A lot of people, not to cut you off, but I just uh, want to, I, I just want to highlight what you just said because that's that's heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what what? Well, basically, what you're saying is, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but basically, what you're saying is, you was willing to sacrifice even money, yeah, in order for, money. for you to, you know, get clear on your purpose in life and what it is that you want to be and, and and do out here in life. For outside sure, yeah. of money you know what i'm saying is that is that correct yeah for sure for sure and, and also and also to 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 give myself that's nice the view of to give myself the view of what what can i really like everybody seeing to look at money first and then see what i'm capable of what can i do you yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah look at that yeah. second yeah that's so, secondary exactly yeah. i want to put money on the back burning in a way like put the I, money second you know, there yeah put the money second like and see what's what so anyway i'm saying i have to say man I, I i was i was down i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna say it was easy of course my man took me on ups and downs you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm fighting through the negativity like i'm thinking negative as hell i'm thinking because I'm, I'm thinking about my situation that i put myself in it i put myself in the box but i'm looking at the box and i'm like damn you know i'm i'm, I'm talking about the box now you know what i'm saying yeah it's crazy that's so, all through that shit, I'm I'm learning like you really like I start to think outside the box. I start to really I start to think like the shit that I wanted, the shit I was trying to get. I started telling myself like I had that shit, and I was thankful. I, like I started thinking, you know what I'm saying? Whoever you praise or whatever, I always been spiritual. For those who don't know, I'm gonna say this right now. Everybody who wanna who wanna think, oh, he he he's turning godly or turning spiritual. I've been spiritual since the first day I shot my first gun on my own my five kids i i got a mother and a father i went to church every fucking sunday with my, uh, my mother and father like i've been a, a, a church going shorty it's, <laughs> what uh, i was out there doing what i was doing you feel ever since i, I met you though know, on on i'm just getting more tapped into it but 
to come back to it, I start thinking, I start thanking God for what I, what I, what I, what I, what I told myself. Like this is this, this, this what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying to get to. Like this is what I'm here to. I start thanking God. I start telling myself I had these things. I'm speaking it. You know what I'm saying? Speaking it, speaking life into it, putting it, speaking it into my life. And I sure I, I, I bullshit you not. Like we're, we're still, like I said, going through the roller coaster and everything. Um, going through the roller coaster. You know, bumping my head, falling, getting back up. Steady trying to grab a hold to it because it's hard to get some negative ass thoughts out your head when you when you when you feel like you're in the mud. Now eventually, so. on that thing, eventually shit shit starts turning around, and I and I start to I, 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 a lot of a lot of people ain't gonna understand this way of talking, but I manifested that shit into my life. I manifested where I am today in my life by not looking at the box. By not looking at saying. the box, exactly. Yeah, to come back, yeah, to come back to the to the more by not looking at the box, by not looking at that current situation by not looking at the box that i put myself in like damn this is where i'm at this is all i got no i looked outside of that box on my seen... life my bad but yeah yeah good seen... bro. yeah you know i got a call but yeah um look... looked outside of that box and seen a successful fitness brand i seen a successful real estate investor i seen a successful clothing um clothing brand owner uh successful art you know what i'm saying saying all these things for sure they say it's hard to see the picture when you in the frame man that's what i that's what i hear when that, i hear what you're saying yeah you know what for saying? sure that, that you said that shit once before i want to say that shit was that, that's that's cold that ain't gonna even lie that's cold though that it's, perspective cold. it's hard to see the picture when you in the front and when you in the frame and it's dope that you keep bringing up this box man because that bring me up that bring me to my story a little bit about my story to piggyback off of you know the last last uh episode we had when i was telling the story about sleeping in my car mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying the reason why i was willing to even a lot of people don't know even before then I, that wasn't nothing new to me you know what i'm yeah. saying you've been that in the box nothing. literally i've been in the box literally you feel me <laughs> like that wasn't nothing new to me like i i, I ran away in fourth grade because I wasn't liking what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't liking how I was being, uh, I don't know the other word to say, but my people don't like me saying this word, but I don't like, I ain't like the way I was being handled. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. I, I ain't like the way, I ain't like it. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and just as a fourth grader, I took it upon myself to say, you know what? I don't know where I'm going to sleep at. I don't know where I'm going to eat at, but I'm, I'm, I'm out of here though. You right. feel me? And the reason why I feel like that story is so significant, and I'm going to keep telling it, y'all going to hear me keep saying it a lot more moving forward, is because what I realized today, looking back on that, is that a lot of this, a lot of that, a lot of people that's been stuck in jobs and relationships today is because they, they not, they don't have the courage to, to leave and get up out that, out about that situation like I did in fourth grade. You know what right. I'm saying? It's it's the equivalent. They they don't know where they're gonna sleep at. They don't know where they're gonna how they gonna eat. Yeah. So they they stay stuck in these jobs that they hate. You know, yeah. just like I could have stayed stuck in that household that I hated and that hated me. But I, I took it upon myself to say, you know what? I'm out of here. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm I'm out of here. And I remember, you know, I remember the first time I ran away, like I said, man, it was funny, man. I could laugh at it now, but I slept in the box. You know what I'm saying? Cause as a fourth grader, that was the that was the creative thing that my mind came up with to, uh, to find a place to, to sleep at. You know what I'm saying? At that time, it was like that was that was it. I, I seen some shows on TV where people slept in the box outside. And, right, right, and right. It. I follow suit. You feel me? So, For sure. but but I say all that to say somebody asked me, uh, one a friend of mine, a homegirl of mine, she asked me not too long ago. Matter of fact, she was like, "Man, when you was that little boy in that box." what was going through your mind like what was what was you thinking when you was going through the, when you was in that box you know what i'm saying like what was going through your mind as that little boy like do you remember and and when she said that i, I started to think and i kid you not bro like as i started to think and reflect back on like what was actually going through my mind at that time i was sleeping in that box bro tears just began to just come down my eyes bro just come down my face bro like i couldn't stop crying and and and, and it was because I had never really looked back on that yeah. time. Yeah, had, you never, pro yeah, you never, you never actually processed the whole thing. I yeah. never processed hey, it, bro. I, I, I just I left. Some of that too, though. I that just shit left, heavy, though. Right. 
I just left, bro. I just never looked back. I, but, but I say that to say, when she told me that, when she asked me that, it forced me to actually look back at that time. And and I re realized, bro, I had all the answers then, bro. I had all the answers. That little dude, man, that little dude, he had it figured out, bro, then. You sound like some. You sound like a different kind of fourth grader to go be comfortably sleep in the box. Not comfortably, but you know what I'm saying. Make a decision to go sleep in the box. He was different. Yeah, he was different. He ain't know what he was gonna sleep. He ain't know what how he was gonna eat. But he knew he was he was out of here yeah. though. Yeah. And I remember, bro. Like I said, when she forced me to look back on that moment, I remember what was going through my head. It's crazy as it may sound, but I want y'all to catch this because this is some real game right here. I, I didn't care about the box that I, I was in. All I was thinking about is the fact that I'm going to be able to go and, and kick it with all my friends from school that I was never, never able to go to their houses because I'm in this house on punishment every day. Right. Like an inmate in my own home. So now that I'm in this box, I'm that's what I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm not thinking about the vision of my limitations, this four box, this four walls that I'm enclosed in. I wasn't thinking about that. Right. I wasn't thinking about the fact that I'm sleeping in the box. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't looking at the box <laughs> like you said earlier. I wasn't looking at the, box. Looking at the I, box. I was looking at the vision of my future, what I was able to do, what what I can do tomorrow when I wake up. Tomorrow when I wake up, I can go to Woo Woo Crib, <laughs> and right. I ain't got to leave it till I want to. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Like that was. That was that was that was my mind at, at, at that at that moment, and that that's what carried me over, and it gave me it gave me a new energy. I pulled something from the future. I pulled energy from the future and used it for the present moment that I was in, and that and that and that carried me over to be able to, you know, elevate slowly but surely to the point where i wasn't in no box no more i'm moving and operating like a regular citizen just like everybody else i'm taking myself to school going to school and everything bro people don't right. even know that i'm i'm a runaway they don't even got nowhere to go when i leave here yeah but even, that's crazy they ain't even knowing though you know what i'm saying that's crazy so i just say the the, the, the moral of what i'm trying to say is like when you when, when you, this this is what i this what i got from my circumstances wasn't didn't control my my happiness my circumstances didn't control my happiness when i was in that box bro what what it what it what happened was my happiness controlled my circumstances you see what i'm saying i stayed rich even then i was realizing that i create happiness Mm -hmm. R-I-C-H. I was staying rich then. I was realizing that I create happiness. Mm -hmm. Not this box that I'm in. Not these four walls that I'm enclosed in. Not that. that. It's, it's I. It's the fact that, hey, man, tomorrow when I go to school, I, I, ain't, I can go to Woo Woo Crib. Yeah. And I ain't, I can do whatever I want. Out. You see what I'm saying? Right. I was creating my happiness even then, before I even knew the the significance behind what I was doing, bro. My bad. That's why, I, like I say, man, little dude had the answers, bro, and he didn't even know it. He had mm -hmm. all the answers, bro. He wasn't worried about where he was gonna sleep at. He wasn't. He wasn't thinking about how he was gonna eat. In the back of his mind, I think in the back of my my young mind, I felt like I was gonna get all that shit anyway. Mm hmm. That shit was gonna come to me. I wasn't. I, it was like it wasn't a worry, like like it like it may be. You know, saying for for most people. Yeah. I just yeah. kind of had an inner knowing, like I was gonna get all of that shit on the, on my on my way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's and that and that be the hard part for people to kind of get over to, bro. And I noticed that because, like I said, I was I, I I I went through it, testing myself on purpose. It's hard to look outside of your situation, bro. But 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 and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this is why though majority of us we we just we just negative as fuck by default, bro. When you when you when you when you can't bro to be to look outside your situation is positivity, is to think positive, bro. Is to think like you know what I'm saying? Is to look up at the sun. You get what I'm saying? Like for sure. Ain't no 
no way around it. It ain't no way around it, bro. Because if you think about it, your circumstances when you when you when you let it low, when you messed up, your circumstances is technically a, it's a negative situation. Driving through it, bro. you feel yeah. me? It's a negative situation. For sure. It's gonna produce some negative thoughts. You get what I'm saying? But it's that's, it's all that's about your. That's the key. Which, go ahead, my bad. What you say? I'm just saying that's the key. That's the key right there. You look. You got to get out. You got to put your. You physically in it. But you got to put your mind somewhere else. You got to put your mind where you was trying to go. Yeah. You gotta put your mind in that positive situation, so that positive situation can produce positive thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. It's real. It's a real. It's a, it's a real breakdown for real life. But I got my man. We talk about energy, and my man Bless Energy just popped in. Man, what's going on, bro? He 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 the man when it comes to that energy yeah. stuff, bro. For, for sure. Real. I'm heavy on that shit too. I'm heavy on the energy and that man of face face type shit. Like for real, I've been I've been real life locked in for for like the last year. Like for real, that's why I don't mind being by myself. I always been alone though. I always been cool with being alone though. But it's starting to make sense why. Like people come with too much. Like people come with too much. Too much crazy energy, bro. Projections, bro. That's what I've been dealing with a lot. Like they come with too much projections. Yeah, projections. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They project their own inner dialogue that they got going on in their head. They project that shit onto you. Mm -hmm. And it be like, bro, that ain't even, we ain't even on that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, I ain't even. Like, what I do to you, bro? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even with the females, <laughs> it, it, men yeah. and women, it just be like, damn, that ain't yeah. even me. Yeah. You, you arguing, you argue with me, but you ain't even arguing with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And once you get so locked into it, you can, you, you can notice it so fast. I'm talking about. A minute into the conversation, you'd be like, Peace, King. you'd be like, damn, I'm like, yeah, this ain't gonna last too long. I gotta, I gotta go ahead and move from around you, cause I already see, like, just that quick, like, damn, I was just, I was just charged up when I just came in, into contact with you. you. Just got me feeling a whole nother way now, like, damn. But even, you all even with that, this shit and, even with that, you right? gotta realize that I create happiness. Yeah, you gotta stay sure. rich even in them situations. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, what he doing? I ain't gotta respond to that for shit. For sure. For sure. I create my, 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 my happiness. I ain't got to even respond to none of that goofy shit that they on. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I can just let them stay on goofy mode. And, and, and what it say in the Bible, let my peace return to me. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Let my peace return to me and let them stay on goofy time. And I ain't even got to, you know what I mean, engage with it not once, not once at all. That's how you stay rich when, when, they, when they piss poor. You know what I mean? Oh, no. That's, uh... When they piss poor, though. But yeah, man, like, it's all about knowing your, your position when it comes to being in relation to your circumstances. It's all about knowing your position. When you when you when you get out of position, that's when that's when your life start to go this way or that way. You know what I'm saying? You start to go on on control because you out of position of, of what's going on. Right. You you are the dominator of your circumstances. Like like they say, man, we are not the creatures of circumstances. Our circumstances are the creatures of us. Yeah, for sure. And and, and why we here? Were you gonna say something else? No, go. I, you know, I, I can go for that. Yeah, go ahead. So sure. now I was gonna say why we here. Those 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 who is here. This is my reason for. This is my reason for when I had went live and I was giving the whole. The whole thing about how pretty much like you know when when you when you're in a position with money you know what i'm saying yeah what i had said was when you get into when you start heading down the road of really listening to, to to these people who 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 feel like they they master manifestors or or you know what i'm saying who who who, who has some type of experience with manifesting what they want you will learn that you create your own reality you know what i'm saying your thoughts create your own reality what you think yes sir is what's gonna come back to you that's what's gonna that's what's that's, what, that's, that's what you put out that's what's gonna come back yes sir and my my proof that i feel like all of us could they can grow rich for sure for sure my proof that i feel like i i could give all of my people like myself right. to to relate to that and to to, to to accept that as the truth was look at money when when you when you when you got your when you got when you got a job and you got you you got you a steady check i'm gonna just use a job because most of us we go we go that's first, that's probably most of our first move to when we say we trying to get some money when you got a job or when you hustling or whatever and you got your money coming in it's coming in like you want it 
You ain't got no breaks in it. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Boom. You 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 kick back. You really lay back your comfort because you know it's coming. You still right. doing your thing, but why is it that it seemed like when you when you got that it's 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 so much easier to come into some extra money that you wouldn't that you ain't that you ain't even really have planned for. Like something the energy. Need. Yeah, because you feel me? Versus on the off on the off hand, when you when you when you fucked up and you ain't got nothing coming in, you don't know where it's coming from. It seemed like you can't. It seemed like you cannot pull no bread in for nothing in this in, in this world. Like it seemed like it's so hard. Like damn, I you know why? Get a hold of a dollar. You know why? I don't tell them why. Because you 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 focused on the lack of instead of the abundance of. You, Anytime you focus on lack. the lack of, all you're gonna do is pro pro produce more. What you focus on, you 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 amplify. You 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 produce more of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You block because you and don't even know it. Because you 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 fueling it. That's why I keep, that's why I low key between everybody me and everybody else that's on this on this live with us. That's why I keep these shades on, bro. Lately, you gonna you gonna see me moving forward with these on because you know what I what I've come to realize is that when you look at something, bro, you're 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 giving it energy. For sure. Your eyes is giving it energy. Like you ever notice when. You 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 can you can feel somebody looking at you, and you just happen to look over and yeah. you see they looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> and you like, yeah. like, damn, what made me even look over at buddy? Yeah. I would nothing touched me or nothing. You know what I'm saying? You felt it. Yeah. You felt yeah. it, bro, because the energy. Yes, sir. It's a form of manifestation through thought for sure. When you when you when you look at something, bro, you energize it. You give it your energy. That's why they say you're paying attention. It's a current. It's a mm. form of currency. Mm. You're spending mm. money with these people. That's why mm. I keep these things on. I, I walk in spots. I ain't paying them no oh, money, bro. Man. I ain't oh, paying man. these people no money. I'm paying them no mind because I know the power of my energy. So I know what to focus my energy on because I know once I put my once I focus my energy on it, it's going to produce more of it in my in my experience. It's going to mm -hmm. amplify. It. You know what I'm saying? So I just focus on my focus. I, I focus. I feed my focus, and I starve my distractions. Feed the focus and starve the distractions. Yeah, there it is. He said, "There it is." I told the bitch, but I yeah, told him, I don't know anything. But yeah, though, yeah, yeah. Like you, 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 you don't, We don't even know it, but we, we don't even know it, but we, we, we putting up. You just put up a, a a resistance force, like to to whatever it is that you could have had, cause you got your mind so set on what you don't got. And damn, I I really need, I really need. Oh man, can I? Man, I wish I could. Man, fuck, I don't got this. I can't do that. It's messed up. I, I can't. You know what I'm saying? What I'm gonna do next week? What I'm gonna do tomorrow? You all the way in the future. You all the way. You feel me? You all the way somewhere else in the wrong mind mindset, in the wrong space. It's like it's like when you when you stuck in traffic, bro. Right, this is a perfect example. When you stuck when you stuck in traffic, you stuck in rush hour traffic. It's irritating that you stuck in rush hour traffic. You you there though. Yeah, that shit is irritating. But what you can do is you can focus on how irritating that the traffic is, or mm -hmm. you can choose to focus on, man. Um, when this traffic clear. Not even when the traffic clear, you can you can you can tune into the song that's on yeah, the radio. That yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Because then the traffic clear, get lost really into the, the song. Time. Now you now you moving and grooving to the song, yeah. and before yeah. you know it, bro, before the song over with, now the traffic moving again. Now it's now you now it's moving smoothly and clearly, mm -hmm. and you don't even realize the connection that that took place between your reality and your your inner thoughts. You yeah, sure. you, didn't, you you chose to focus your energy and tune your energy into. Well, what you had on. instead of tuning your energy energy into what you didn't have, you know, like I say, man, anytime you focus your energy on what you don't got, you you gonna have less. And anytime you put your energy, focus your energy on what you do got, you gonna produce more. That's why in the morning when I wake up, bro, I always I always think about and focus in on what it is that I'm thankful for and what I'm gr grateful for for having in my life before that's I that's even that's answer a message, true. an email, make a phone call, check a notification, anything, bro. I'm doing that before I do anything, bro. Before I talk to anybody in the world, I'm getting clear on what I'm grateful for in this in this world. You know what I'm saying? That's true. I, I tune my energy. I'm focusing my energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm 
I'm, I'm spending it wisely. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But yeah, but yeah, man. I just, I just want to make sure that if y'all don't learn nothing else from this, this episode, I want, I want to make sure that y'all learn to be in control of your circumstances. Understand that you don't have to be control by your circumstances i don't care what you're going through you know what i'm saying you talking to some people right now that have been through some of the worst circumstances that you can think of bro we still sitting there telling you right now that those circumstances don't define us or control us they may reveal certain parts of us to us but mm -hmm. they don't make us who we are they reveal to us who we are you know what i'm saying they they come to show you what you meant to do. I heard a preacher say something the other day too, man. He said, uh, he said, man, you trying to get, you trying to, you trying to pray for that Goliath out of your life. Meanwhile, that same Goliath that you trying to pray for out of your life has been sent in your life to promote you in your life. Mm -hmm. You trying to pray it out of your life. Don't, don't pray for it out of your life. He said, don't, don't fight the Goliath. Kill it. <laughs> On everything. Kill it. Cause when you kill it, it's gonna take your life to the next level, man. That that problem that that that's in your life, it was put there in your life for you to find a solution to it, mm -hmm. for you to be the solution. You know what I'm saying? To become the solution. You know? Yeah, greatness the, is gonna be tested at all times. I know that. Say that one more time. Greatness is gonna be tested at all times. You want What's gonna be tested at all times? I said great greatness is gonna be tested. Greatness is going to be tested. Like no matter sure. what. If it's if it's if it's great to you, if it's great to the universe, to the world, if if, if you're the you're the great, it, it's gonna be tested. It's gonna I, I be tested. Heard somebody say this: greatness, greatness isn't determined by what you've achieved. Greatness is determined by what you survived. What you survived. So, like, like, go back to the point. Don't pray for that Goliath out of your life. Kill it. You know what I'm saying? Show show that you can survive this. This what I. I slept in this car. That's why I keep talking about me sleeping in the car, sleeping in the box. That's what I survived. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I was able to find a solution out of that problem. And now I can sit here and articulate it to y'all. So y'all don't got to deal with that problem. You know? Being rich before you get the money, man. Not, not, not believing, not having that false belief that one only becomes rich after they get some money. Because what does that say about you in the meantime, what are you in the meantime? Right, 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 exactly. What is that saying about you? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I I don't believe that. What that's actually saying and what that's actually implying about you, I don't believe that. I don't believe that you poor because you ain't got this paper. I believe that, you know, you, you in a process. You in a process. Mm -hmm. it, it's like it's like a person that got an inheritance. But when he turned 18, when he become an adult, it's already set and written in stone that he's supposed to have a billion dollars when he turned 18 to become an adult. But right now, he fucked up. He only 13. He 14. He fucked up. He ain't got no nice shoes on. He go to school, bum his head, all the kids talking about him. But they don't know that when he turned 18, he got an inheritance already set in stone for him to get a billion dollars, for him to be a billionaire. So they don't even know that they're insulting the same person that they're insulting is the same person that they're going to be asking for favors from mm -hmm. in about three, four years. Same person. Not a different person. That's what I mean when I say he we rich before he got the money. It's not a, it's not a different person. It's the same person. He, he was already rich. That's the same person. But you only you only making him rich when he get this stuff. He's like, yeah, he, he that now. No. Nah. Mm -hmm. Same physical dude. Form. Real rich in physical form. You feel me? Money only exists here. Paper, that shit only exists here. It's the same dude, man. So with that within that analogy, your 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 inheritance is is really your 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 education right now. Listening to these videos, tapping in, soaking up this game that we passing around. So soaking up these riches that we passing around. You know what I'm saying? When we do these lives, that this this is your inheritance because the more you soak up this game and let it really, really, you know, digest in your spirit and you apply it to your life and your everyday day to day, you know, dealings, you're gonna see the reaction, you're gonna see the res results from it. And you're gonna see a different 
experience sure. in your life. You know what I'm saying? The way you respond to situations, you ain't gonna respond the same. Cause you're gonna be stuck in traffic. You're be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm stuck in traffic, but I'm gonna choose not to focus on the fact that the cars ain't moving. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna focus on this motherfucking new future song that just came out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. I'm gonna create my happiness. I'm gonna choose to create my happiness, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and I'm gonna stay rich. And that's how that's 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 the you know, that's the objective. That's the that's the goal, that's the that's the vision, you know, for what we doing. You feel me? For sure. For sure, man. I'm gonna say something too before we go, man. Don't think that don't think that something's gonna come your way and that shit. That you ain't gonna get life ain't gonna try to knock you off that square when you start when you try to start to change the way you're thinking it and put you know what i'm saying just push out the negative and put the positive in don't don't just stop get back on that get back on that horse like fight back you feel me? yeah fight them tests is coming my boy them tests is coming my boy but like that's, that's, that go back to that goliath you know what i'm saying when them tests come that shit, that shit excites you. Like I like that. Like I said, what Nipsey said, when the when the drama come, we gonna run to it now. Like that's that shit excites you when that drama come your way. Mm -hmm. You know now, like okay, this is another opportunity for me to show and prove that I'm him. Mm -hmm. That's all this is. This is just another opportunity, another another uh blessing for me in disguise for me to for me to show and prove that I am him so come on with it i love this i love this you know what i'm saying but yeah man if you don't take nothing away if you don't take nothing else away from what we saying just take this do not let your happiness be controlled by your circumstances by your files and your current reality let your happiness control be in control of your circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Don't be controlled by your circumstances, man. Don't be controlled by the four walls. Control, control your circumstances with your happiness. The more happy you become and create for yourself, the more you're going to see your circumstances change for you. Got to look outside, them four, look outside that box you in. Think about it like this. Who want to buy something? If you a business owner on here, an entrepreneur on here, you know this all too well. Who want to buy something from an unmotivated salesman? Who want to buy something from a bitter, broke down, depressing, sad salesman? Nobody. Who buying something from him? Mm -hmm. Only a thing. <laughs> but think about that. Think about that dude that come with that 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 good energy, that high chipper. You know what I'm saying? He got all that high energy going. He like, yeah, man. Hey, oh, you don't want it? Don't even worry about it, cause I got a deal for everybody right now that don't want it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't taking no for an answer. You said no. Nah, I don't even worry about it. I got a special just for everybody who say no. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He don't. He don't give up. You gonna buy something from him? You gonna buy something from him every time because it's like, man, this dude energy is just like how can you can't even say no to him for real? Undeniable. You know what I'm saying? It's infectious. So yeah, man, that's just a that's just one example of like. The results of having a high energy versus having low energy, you know, they I've, I've, I've heard too, not to not to be too long winded, but I heard that money is an energy yeah. for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money is the energy. That's why. That's why it's Keep such a that. for sure. That's why it's such a. Uh, everything we talking about right now is really based around energy. You know. No, nah, for real. That's like, all it is. It's it's, it's all it is. It's an energy game. If you can master the person who masters you is his energy, is the man that that masters his 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 bank account. You know what I'm saying? If you can master your energy, you can master your life. You can master your circumstances. You don't gotta control. You don't gotta seek to control your circumstances. Just just seek to control your energy, because when you when you control your energy, that's gonna control your circumstances. Yeah. It's a trickle effect. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's cause and effect. Mm -hmm. Trickle effect, yeah. <laughs> Just match your energy. Everybody be like, man, all they yeah, say positive good. shit. That's really the that's really the trick though. It's just the 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 the, 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 the objective, I would say, 
is finding out how just how to control your anger. And that's why I gave the example oh, about, man. you know, sleeping oh, in that man. box when I was in fourth grade. I was able to control my energy without even realizing that that's what I was doing at that age. You know what I'm saying? Just from the thought of, man, I can go and chill with my homies and, them and play at their crib and, and play the game and everything and I ain't got to leave until I want to leave. I was controlling my energy just from that thought. Meanwhile, I'm 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 laying in the grass with a with, with a box on me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. I bro, hold on. I got a, I got a so lot of that, That's just I, I feel you, I feel you. That's just that's how you <laughs> that's just how you that's how you uh control your cool. energy though, man. No matter what, no cool. matter what's going on. You so you always got a mind that you can you can tune into whatever it is that make you feel better. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, that make your heart. He says, "So get Mike up out of here, man." No, nah, man, look that. He talking about Fat Mike. Yeah, cause he's talking about Mike. Mike on some funny shit. He talking about to let the church speak. I feel that. Hey, man. Funny shit, man. No, nah, but all, all that shit come with it too, though. You know what I'm saying? Because in the end, bro, a lot of people would call me Farrakhan or whatever. They make the yeah. crack little jokes, and yeah, you know, yeah. I, I laugh at that shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, you can't help that shit, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. If it's in you, it's in you, bro. I ain't gonna sit here and try to fake for nobody, bro. That shit. At all. At all, I bro. See, you know I see saying? shit different. I see the other side of that shit, man. But this is the thing, though. I tell my kids this shit all the time, though. I already know what it is. We've been tricked to believe that ignorance is cool, bro. Right. And just think about it. Look at our culture. Anything that got anything to do with being right. intelligent is looked at like you a lame. Right. It's looked at like you ain't cool. If you see a nigga reading a book in our culture, motherfucker, I'm like, this nigga read. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna be something that's been said that'll make you feel or second guess yourself for doing whatever it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Whereas if you if you wear your hair all fucked up and nappy and and, and, and wear a hoodie and it's a hundred degrees outside, you know what I'm saying? You look that as cool. For the females, you walk outside with a bonnet on, you look that as cool. Mm -hmm. you, you do drugs, you pop pills, you look at it, it's cool. Everything that's destructive in our culture is, is deemed as cool. And anything that is intelligent and constructive that'll build you up and build up your future generations to come and your legacy for your yeah. families. Oh, that shit is the corn. That ball. shit ain't that, that shit, shit corny. Shit. Yeah, why is that shit. though? Why is that though? Why why is that corny? I'll tell you why. I've been saying this shit for a long time, man. I, I've been saying shit for the longest. I've been saying this shit since I realized the influence of music, bro. We live in a world of followers, bro. Yeah. We live in a world full of followers, bro. For sure, everybody right? want to jump on what's cool. Everybody want to jump on what's cool because they want to be, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker want to be cool. So, shit, really, the trendsetters really are the only, are the only motherfuckers that can really go about it in a different way because at the end yeah. of the day, if you okay with a motherfucker not saying you ain't cool, you would trust that anyway. So, you know, you're going to grab, you know, you're going you gonna to change some minds anyway. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be strong enough to take them blows and, and, and you know what I'm saying? To, 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 not, to not fall into feet into that peer pressure. Yeah. Shit, like. Man, that nigga, that nigga Kanye said it best, man. man he said nigga, some slick man, shit man, one time. Man. That nigga Kanye said something slick one time. He said, man, if you see a dude running on the side of the E-way, the opposite direction of the traffic, you would think he crazy. But if you see 12 more people running with him, you would think it's a marathon. On my life, you're going you to think, God damn, I should, I, should, I should probably get involved. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying, though. But I've been seeing this way, though. Like, I've been people the game, and they're like, oh, long as, long as they're about Else, as long as, long as a, 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 group, a group of people say that it's cool, it's, it's, it's a move, it's a go. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it's we just one. Niggas, we got niggas hitting, hitting their hips. <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the woo woo. Like, come on, man. Hey, don't do that no more, man. I'm just saying, I'm like, that's a little crazy, son. You got to hit niggas in the. Yeah, dang, though. You, you, you got that? Now, motherfucker, motherfucker stamped it. It's cool, though. Look, though. Motherfucker stamped it. It's cool. Yeah. The first nigga was like, uh, 
Oh, no. Yeah, for real, though. But so the nigga started this cool. Nigga say, all right, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Let me, let me hit my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, though, bro. Like, that's what we living in, bro. That's what we living in, bro. It's okay to, it's okay to go the other way, bro. It's okay to not be a part of the cool crowd, bro. Nah, for real. I, especially right. when you when you put it in context. Like, when you put it in context, like, this for my family, though, bro. This ain't about none of these people out here. Like, I don't get no fuck about sure. what they own, bro. Like, this for my family. And at and at the end of the day, this shit's so real. What that nigga, what that nigga, uh, Zay Osama say, this shit's so real right now, nigga. Bro, this shit's so real. I don't even give a fuck what, what they think. Yeah, for real, though, like. I don't give a fuck about what my family think, bro. This shit's still for them, though. That's how real this shit is. This shit for them, and they, I don't even give a fuck about what they talk about. Mm -hmm. If they ain't with it, cause they don't be with it. A lot of time, your family, the people that you doing it for, yeah. ain't gonna be with it, bro. And then what you gonna do? You ain't gonna not be with it now because they ain't with it. No, mm -hmm. no, that's ain't how this shit go. I'm standing firm. Fuck what they doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing firm. Like I said in my in my music, what I say, uh. Salutations for whomever that is making concern. When everybody went that way, you still was standing firm against the odds. You know, life is like a big collage. We all paint the same picture just with different eyes. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, like, I don't care if everybody go that way, bro. I'm still gonna be that one nigga standing firm, bro. I take pride in that shit. That's who you I to. am. You <laughs> got to, bro. Time. You got to. What that nigga say for he walk in the walk in the room and everybody looking crazy and when you walk in, fuck all you motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck all you motherfuckers. Like, like that's how I am, bro. Like, man, I'm going I'm gonna be that dude that's going that way because I don't care if a million people saying the wrong shit, it's still the wrong shit. Yeah, it's still the wrong shit. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't no I ain't no jumping on a jumping on board because that's cause that's less that's less controversial or, 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 or shit. I'm pretty sure you could probably give me another word that's a little more on a, on a certain on a simpler level, but less of a conflict, less. Yeah. 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 More agreeable. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. More agreeable. And I ain't I ain't come to agree. I ain't come to be agreeable. You know, I came to I came to handle my father's business. You know what I'm saying? I came to handle my father's business, bro. I came to I came to dominate. I came to be king, bro. I came to build kings. You feel me? Cause real kings build kings. I came to build kings, bro. Everybody that come about my house, the house of Richard Pryor, they gonna be kings. They must be kings. I, I'm standing on it. You know what that nigga uh, 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 Frank Lucas said on 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 American Gangster? He said Blue Magic. That's a brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. I feel the same about Richard Pryor, bro. Like, that's a brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee it, bro. We must be kings, bro. Anybody that got that on them, stamped on them, we must be kings, bro. You know, so that's what that's what that's what we on. That's what we doing. You know, we stand rich, we ain't playing rich, man. But yeah, we done we done went a little bit we done went a little bit longer than yeah, time. Sure. So, we're gonna be on in 30 minutes, but if y'all got some questions, man, it's a good time to ask some, man, so we can, uh, like I say, we just want to come on here and get y'all as much value as we can. Yeah. So, I like if y'all got some questions about energy, about you know, just staying positive, about controlling your circumstances, about I business, like about branding, what you say, bro? I said, I like questions. For sure. The 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 ignorant ones and 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 the, and, the, and the sincere ones. Yeah, all of them. All of them. Google. It's all a teaching. Well, ask me anything. It's all a teaching moment. I learn from just I learn from certain questions people ask me. I'm learning from it. Yeah. Yeah. Because 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 real life, like I said before, you know, everybody got a different way that they that they that they grasp a hold of something. Everybody has different ways they see and they learn. They they get shit. So. A question, or something my motherfucker might ask you, might might give you, might let, allow you to know, like, I, right, you need a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Or you, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you learn a little different. You just showed me that what I, the way I said it is not gettable for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You just showed me that it's another way that I could really 
add to my, you know, to my spiel to really get get more people to see it. Exactly. But, you know, you know. Iron sharp is iron, man. What they say, one hand wash the other, and they both yeah. wash the face. Yeah, yeah. You know? But yeah, man, okay. if y'all ain't got no yeah. questions, we're going to get up out of here, man. You know, time is infinitely more valuable than money, so we don't want to waste yours, and we definitely ain't going to waste ours. You feel me? For sure. For sure. Yeah, brother. We're going to do this again next week. Uh, what today is Sunday? We're gonna do a Sunday or Monday? I don't know which one. Which one better for you? We can kick a Sunday out with it. Let's go. For sure. Um, yeah, we'll catch. Y'all can catch us. Uh, what you finna say? Something? I, I was just. I was just. It wasn't really nothing for real. I was just gonna say it might be hard to sit people down and get their attention on them on them Friday and Saturday. You know, my folks trying to get moving and groove. Niggas trying to get out here and for sure. hips. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> I see you guys next time for sure, man. Appreciate you tuning in. Like I say, man, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing these weekly, man. Uh, probably more than that, just depending on how we feel. But for sure, we just for sure weekly Sunday for whoever here seeing it. You know, you already know you got a heads up next Sunday. We'll be here. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed. And uh, and and just always know that. You guarantee when you put when you pull up, you guarantee to get a a, a load of game, man. Cause we not we not the type that's only gonna give you game if you pay us. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna give you free game right, because we already game. we already know how it go. You know what I'm saying? We already know how it go, man. The game is free, but the hustle is sold separately. Mm -hmm. A lot of things I'm willing to give you all the game for free because I know a lot of times people ain't gonna. I ain't gonna go and capitalize on it because mm -hmm. they got it for free. They ain't invested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. no, you know, it ain't nothing. Counter. Let it spoil. Huh? So they're gonna leave that shit on the counter. Let it spoil. Yeah, yeah and I love I love I love to give it out anyway. You know what I'm saying? I love to give it out anyway. I ain't fucked up about yeah. it at Why all. Not? Why not? Like you said, iron shop is iron. Like you get giving that shit out is 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 is, is, is a teaching moment. Exactly, for sure. Oh, let me blink my eyes like Denzel while I say that. <laughs> <laughs> let me stop fucking around. But for sure, though, man. For sure. Hey, for man, sure. before we, we go, man, sun, before we go, though, I want to ask you one question, man. Are you rich before you get the money or after? Come on, man. Before you know that, man. <laughs> for sure, though. I'll, I'll encourage all y'all, man, to strive through adversity and negative situations, man, at all times. Yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. It's definitely a stain out here. You know what I'm saying? Life is a stain. Life is a stain. For sure, life is a stain. I feel. But yeah, I appreciate y'all time. And we're going to see y'all next week. Stay rich. In a minute. Yes, sir. Love, bro. Love, bro.